Hey, welcome to another vlog about my setter journey. I I changed uh, the setting of my video a bit. I have a a picture of a phoenix. And this is Tupac. <laughs> and my my plant is is with us. And I'm currently practicing Daromat in Abu Atta. And it's a rhythmic piece, that means um, it's not a rhythmic piece, it's an avos. That means that it hasn't it doesn't have a rhythm prescribed in the in the sheets. Um, like in Western music all songs have a rhythm like four by four or two by four, which is like in a in a in a segment of the song, there's always um, four quarters, for example, or you you divide the music like that. And in Persian music, those pieces exist as well. But there there is another big category of pieces that don't have that kind of prescribed rhythm, and you have to more like. Often these pieces come with poetry as well, so you can kind of get the rhythm from the poetry, from the lyrics, or it's a, it's 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 a piece that accompany, accompanies a singer. So yeah, it's more like finding the rhythm in the piece, in the words, and also from the notes a bit, but. And usually I struggle a lot to practice these songs because I don't have a rhythm to kind of support me in remembering the notes. Um, and I, I listen to the recording of the song, but it's usually quite fast. And especially at the beginning, I'm really slow in adopting a song and uh, this piece I practiced now since Wednesday, Tuesday, so it's like five days, four, four or five days, and now I'm slowly feeling the song. And with a rhythmic piece, I could already, like, not all of them, but sometimes I feel it like, you know, within 20 minutes <laughs> or at least a few hours, and like at max a few hours. But with this like kind of arrhythmic pieces, um, I struggle a lot actually. Um, so I'm really happy that I finally, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to get this song. Yeah, it's really interesting. I'm learning a lot about my inner sense of time and rhythm as well. And um, I mean, this piece forces me to like rely more on my inner rhythm because, yeah, the piece itself doesn't have one or not a strong one. That's the beginning. I like this um, staccato and the. So I repeat that twice and the third time when I do the staccato. It's not like this, it's like this. I always get out here, so it's like... Yeah, and then 
this is like I do it slow first. That's the whole segment. And when I play it faster, I always mess it up. So I do it slow again. So plus chop, plus chop, plus chop, staccato. That's it. Yeah, and then the same again, just like one note uh, more uh, bump, <laughs> more deep. No, that was not right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then, oh yeah, then comes this part. Repeat it. And then this. I remember parts, I mean, I remember the, the song in parts and like, mm, you could also say sentences, right? Like, mm, the units is letters or words, like a single note could be a letter or a word, and a part of a song is like like a sentence. For example, I repeat a sentence like... <laughs> that wasn't the one I meant, it's like this. That was a sentence and I know I have to play it twice, so that's easy, like, and the transition doesn't um, bother me at all, like, I don't have to think about it. Yeah. I start with the wrong sentence again, but it's, it's like this. It's like a new sentence and then at this transition point I often struggle like I often search in my memory and like where was it where was it so I have like this two three seconds of like finding the next sentence and um, I have this problem a lot when I practice the song so because when I learn the song I, I, I like practice it in the sentences and like if I remember which sentence comes next I usually can play it so yeah, I take a lot of repetition to um, kind of first I learn sentence by sentence and then I take a lot of repetition to uh, play sentences uh, smoothly after each other. Um, so after this sentence, and now I have to think, yeah, now I know I, it comes this sentence. <laughs> and now I now I know all the tra following transitions already. I, I know. So like from here it comes this one. And I walk all the way back to here to me. And then I repeat the previous sentence. And that's nice because I know I, I reach too far and then I know I don't have to move my hand to go to the next sentence. That's how I can easily remember it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't play it correctly, but it's fine. my favorite part now. And 
these three segments um, are also easy to remember because it's it starts on a different place but when when it starts the delta of the, the, the my finger movements is the same so it's easy to remember the third one even st stops earlier like and sometimes i i don't stop here i i like I would play this, which doesn't is not present in the in the music, <laughs> in the piece. Um, yeah, and from here, I have to go here. Okay, I struggle with this sentence. Yeah. It's again a similar movement. So first I do this twice. Right, twice. And then Mi, Fa. And then Fa, Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol. Fa, Sol. I cannot say the notes and play them, but I can play them. <laughs> and then I like walk my way back up all the way to the and then the same movement and again all the way back to the and now I have to go one more. No, that was not correct. Because I already did that. I have to look it up. Yeah, okay. From here, it's I, 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 I leave my hand here and just do this. Is it this? No, it's this. try it uh, in one go let's see how it goes but basically this is my practice like sentence by sentence two sentences in a row like three sentences in a row all sentences in a row <laughs> and I just keep going and going and going and like recording myself and listening to it while reading the, the sheets um, is like the final touch and then I notice like details you know <laughs>
favorite part. Yeah, wow, that was very tense for me, but uh, there were there were a few hiccups. But other than that, I'm really glad about uh, about this progress. <laughs> um, definitely some some hiccups to to iron out for me, and yeah, I'll I like record just the audio. I'll um, iterate on it, and yeah, like I'm now in the habit of like posting just the songs. So probably in the coming days, like when I ironed these uh, hiccups out, I uh, I'll just I'll do just that. Um, yeah, so it's been really nice diving like deeper and deeper into the different techniques. Um, it's so cool. Like I've yeah I've been playing sitar now for two years. Uh, like the first half year of it was just me like messing around you you, you saw all the videos maybe <laughs> um but like it doesn't stop for me that i discover you know more depth and more there's always more to discover and i mean it's not only discovering it but like really you know understanding it um on a fundamental level, not with my head, because the concepts are n not hard, right? But like feeling it. And it's just such a joy to see this process, <laughs> this process and this progress uh, at the same time. Like, I don't know if this will ever stop, like after playing it, I don't know playing setter for 10 20 years like is there again is there still something to find and i guess yes there is like everything in life right you can like you can always dig deeper and yeah it's just it's just an amazing amazing process for me <laughs> yeah so thank you all for uh, joining me in this video along my journey and i'll see you soon <laughs>